All right, I think we're live. Welcome to the Bigot and Ribbit Show. Once again, uh, Jolly over here, uh, having probably having a little bit of lag right, on my end. Live. Welcome to the Bigot and Ribbit Show. Oh, Echo. Uh, Jolly over here. Uh... Kermit's got the Echo. What's I got up, it now. I got it now. <laughs> right on. You ready to do another Bigot and Ribbit Show? I'm super ready, Snow. So excited. I've been waiting all week. Yeah, I'm pumped up, too. We didn't really prepare for this one too well, but, you know, I just said, fuck it. Let's just do whatever whatever us puppets do, you know? I, I That's how we got to do sometimes, you know? Just, just, just free ball it, Snow. Right. Snowball it. <laughs> I love snowballs. <laughs> Did somebody say cocaine? Oh, shit. No, not yet. God damn, we're barely a minute in. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. So uh, how's the how's the PMS show coming, Kermit? Uh, it's going kind of slow. I, uh, I've been really struggling with jokes. I've been doing too much coke. So too much coke, light on the jokes. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe a little more jokes, a little less coke. I think that's good advice, Snow. Yeah, I like it. How about you? What you been doing? You been uh, you been? How's Puppet Lady treating you? Uh, I haven't been doing too much coke, um, but I've been smoking a lot of weed. You know, dealing with the stress. Always, <laughs> always got stress on my mind, especially with that episode nine coming. Oh man, if you're gonna need all the weed, Snow. Yeah, yeah, I I, I got a prescription now. You know, since I'm a vet. And, um, so I smoked the shit out of it and that seems to keep me at a level where, you know, I don't kill anybody. That's good. I, I, I think green, the weed is a good thing for you for sure. I'm glad you're doing yeah. it, bro. Yeah. Me too. We, yeah. We need to smoke more. I need to smoke more and drink less and do less cocaine. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, maybe, cut, maybe cut, back, cut back. Miss Piggy came or, by. And I couldn't get my dick hard. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Um, I was going to just say that. Uh, you might want to cut back on your hookers, too. They're expensive. Hey, don't say hookers too loud. Oh. Uh, your female friends that take your money when they stop by. Thank you. Yes. They're, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. expensive. Poor yes, prices are. are soaring. So I've heard. <laughs> um it's <laughs> good it's good so uh did you see the new spider-man movie yet no i'm going on monday did you see it no no i haven't seen it yet um been hearing mixed reviews you know uh some people liked it some people didn't i think Ty todd holland has a fat ass well, no fomo no fomo right yeah well, it's definitely better uh, better looking than what's her names. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> shit. I almost said it. Don't say it. it. Don't say it. Don't want to puke. <laughs> yeah. Good. I hope the Senate's not watching. Oh no, he's he's over there licking on lethal lethal lightning's nuts, watching him play Mortal Kombat. Hey, hold on though. Hold the phone. Daddy Pants said hello. Oh shit, Daddy Pants in the hey, chat. We, yeah, did you see the rest of the chat? You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> oh fuck them. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, we got Jonathan Eaton. He was uh, he was waiting patiently, so that's nice. Um, got Kali Han in the house. Kali Han. Um, yeah, yeah. Kali Han's always always likes the Ribbit and Bigot show. Um, and Kali Han is a he. By the way, so gender check on that. Oh well, that's um, disappointing. That's disappointing. Right. I thought I was gonna try to get you know my gate my, my my groove on. Right. Yeah. I know. Uh, it's, we don't have any female fans yet, so maybe one day. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got Daddy Pants in the house. I'm gonna have to. And, I'm gonna uh, have to frog Weinstein somebody. Oh wow! So you got a couch, Kermit? I got a couch. Oh I, just shit. Don't, I don't have a bunch of bad bitches though. 
Kermit time on the couch. Huh. Yeah. Well, I only need a few minutes. Maybe when you get a little bigger and YouTube count, you know, obviously you can't get bigger in size. Oh. But when you when you get bigger like famous, yeah, you might you might get some casting calls. That's still the reason I'm doing this. And Right. Did you just size shame me? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, we got White Chapel eighty eight in the house too. What's up, White Chapel? I Let's love White it. Chapels. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't give a fuck what color they are, really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what's what's been new, uh, Kermit? We haven't really talked in a few days. Well, I'm still really pissed off at uh, the U.S. women's soccer team and the Lesbos. Oh, yeah, I haven't been paying attention. What's going on there? All they do is say fuck Trump and uh they like they just say we hate men and uh women should make more as much as men playing soccer even though they suck. Well, fuck them. America. Fuck them. Right. They're the type that wouldn't buy them fucking shoes that old Capper Dick was uh was boycotting. <laughs> yeah. Right? Not a big fan of Kaepernick either, even though I was when he was a quarterback for my Niners. Yeah, Sacker Pick. Yeah, I, I remember Sacker Pick yeah. really well. Yeah. Yep. Hey, he was good though when he came out. He really was. He was a good he he gets he doesn't get enough credit for how good he was. Yeah, he was real good, especially um especially in the 2014 NFC championship. Oh yeah. When it, yeah. All, you know, he beat he went into Green Bay and won a playoff game against Aaron Rodgers. Right, but then the uh, yeah, but, but then we could we couldn't score against you guys. No I'm fucking four downs. No, no. Kept trying <laughs> to go to Crabtree. Yeah, well, you got Richard Sherman now, so hey, maybe he'll, maybe he'll return the favor. I've done cocaine with Crabtree. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Good times. So uh, we got Stig Kenobi in the house. What's up, Stig? Glad you stopped by, buddy. And uh, author Stephen Walton's here. Um, everybody check out his uh, his GoFundMe video uh, about uh, getting a little editing help on his on his book. Um, need some help there, so check him out. Uh, MK Ultra is in the house. And uh, uh, author Stephen Walton, I can send you some cocaine if it would help you finish faster. Yeah, yeah, and. I could send you a couple roaches. They're pretty fat. They're oh. like they're like halfies. You're a good man, Snow. You're a good man. Yeah. You're you're a good I, puppet. I, I do what I can. You know. Um yeah, I'm always I'm always here to help. So I don't I don't make any money, but I don't know. Maybe I could shave off some fuzz for you or something. Yeah. I, I that's a good contribution. Like I said, Kermit, I do what I can. For sure. You're the for, puppet hero we need, Snow. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's Meg's doing? Oh, that bitch. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, I love my sister. Uh, no, she's uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> my bad. It's okay. Uh, you made me go out of character. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Sorry about that, Kermit. Um, what was I saying? You were saying, uh, fuck that bitch, Megs. Oh, yeah, yeah, my sister. Right, right. Um, oh, what code? <laughs> 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 no, uh, no, she's cool. Um, you know, she's having her good days and bad days. Um, that's I, good. I, yeah. I'm hoping she calls either maybe tomorrow. Um, we'll probably get together, hang out a little bit. I know she wants to get, get going on some videos here soon. So we're hoping maybe Monday she'll she'll be ready. So finger uh keep your puppet fingers crossed. But yeah, it's been a it's been my a puppet dick road. is crossed. Oh wow. I didn't we, we you got two of them, Kermit, or how do you cross your puppet dick? I push it in. Uh, 
I'm still having a hard time visualizing this. It's a frog theme. You wouldn't gotcha. understand. Amphibian type thing. Right, right. Okay. Um, yeah. No, I'm I'm a, I'm a mammal. So I guess I wouldn't understand that. Makes sense. Anyway, so um, speaking of mammals, man, it's too bad we're not watching some titties tonight. I wish we had some titties, though. <laughs> I'd like to yeah. start some cocaine off of them. Oh, that's, God. that's my favorite pastime. If, sure. if I had to die, I'd go doing blow off of some titties. Yeah, yeah well, um, we'll try to get a GoFundMe going soon where everybody could pay for us to go to Vegas. P the, yeah. puppets, the puppets on the strip. Yeah, right to the bunny ranch. Fuck yeah. Have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, in two, by like 2021, we're going to Thailand or the Philippines. Oh, man. Now you're, now you're getting kinky. Yeah. I, I, like, I like how you think, Frog. I'm going to bring home three wives. That, that's the ticket. Good times. Yeah. One fat one just so she cooks good. Yeah, we'll make sure. Um you might want to you might want to go Mormon too. I, I I'm not sure if it's legal unless you're Mormon, but we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. What would I do without you, Snow? Hey, that's what puppets are for, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's take a peep in the chat here. See what everybody's talking about. Um, all right. We got MK Ultra says, "Hey, I can hear another story about Disney being bad for the eight thousandth time." Gunshot. Oh shit! Well, I don't. Were we talking about Disney already? I don't remember talking about it. Don't kill yourself, MK. It'll be all right. <laughs> I'll try not to bring up Disney movie, but hey, you know how it is. It's everywhere. Fucking he also Ultra. says Kermit's gonna get warts. Oh man, MK Ultra needs to get laid. Yeah, yeah buddy. Most horny toads have warts. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we got uh, we got Daddy Pants in here with the wrench. All right, on Daddy Pants, and um, hold on, hold uh, on, Snow. Can I answer a question in the chat? Oh yeah, go for it, Kermit. Author Stephen Walton wants to know what do I think of Black Ariel? Oh, good question. I'd fuck the shit out of Black Ariel. That's what I think of her. Wow. So yeah. um, major cocaine. I mean, uh. Well, to maybe to be a little more specific, um, I think I think you might have wanted to know what what position you'd put her in. Submissive. All right, all right, good call. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Stefan. Um, not really into black girls. Nothing against them. Yeah, um, but I slam dunk an Asian. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hope, hope that answers your question, buddy. Yeah. All right. I'd be cool with a, an Asian Ariel who cooks and cleans. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. For sure. All right. So um, MK Ultra says black nipples are all right. Hashtag black nips. Well, yeah, I guess we all got to have something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Dread, Dread Pirate M says face in a pillow. That's what I'm talking about. Face down, ass up, baby. That's how uh -huh. we like to fuck. That's right. That's a that's a two live crew song, isn't it? It's a it's a two frog crew. Two frog crew. That's how I like to roll. Hell that's yeah, a menage a frog. Yeah, that's why I got my my gold chain here and shit. I love it. You're a pimp, nice. Jolly. You're a pimp. It's like '80s rap style, bitches. <laughs> All right. Off hey, so did you see Spider Man? Oh hell no! Um, maybe maybe this week sometime we'll get around to it. Um, still waiting on Megs, you know, waiting for her to be, you know, ready to do something. She's been right. uh, she's been a little depressed the last couple of days just because, you know, she does too much, and it's like you gotta rest, you gotta take it easy, you know. Well, you know, she's a tough woman, so that's what they do. But that sucks that she's depressed. I, I don't like to hear that. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, severe depression, but. No, you know, I know, but you don't, I just don't want to see her sad. You know, it's like, that sucks. She's, she'll be good. She's going to be good. 
Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, laying in bed all day, it tends to wear on you. you want Unless to you have a frog all. next to you. Oh, good point. Good point. She needs a little more frog in her life. That's the best <laughs> words I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Well, I'll try to find her one on Amazon. <laughs> 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 so, um, author Steve Walton says, Megs needs to rest. She wants to go out. Can you put her in a wheelbarrow? Um, no, but maybe, um, maybe like, uh, like a stretcher. Might work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jolly, Jolly, can I yeah. ask you a question? What's that? That was actually a question. I know, but uh, have you seen Banula TV? Uh, I see him pop in the chat sometimes. I, I'm not sure if I watched one of his videos yet. You maybe. gotta check out this guy's channel. He's absolutely hilarious what is he puppet yeah. is he like puppet level hilarious oh yeah oh yeah oh. he makes like uh short films called pussy high uh with freddy cougar involved you you would love it you would love it you gotta check oh. one of his you gotta eventually when we're, you know sometime bro check his shit out it's great all right all right i'll, I'll put it on my list here i'm writing it down right now so benelia i'll give you a look see there benelia um yeah, he's pretty pretty cool. He usually pops in on the afternoon streams. I see him in uh, Jolly's rants. Yeah, he's a good uh, fandom and this person, you know, he's always uh, sharing stuff. And, you know, that's the type of person I really like is somebody who's, like, just not so centered on themselves. And they, they share stuff and, you know, they're a good puppet. All right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, definitely. it's the cocaine talking. I get emotional. All right, we'll do another line, Kermit. Um <laughs> Tonight we're gonna we're gonna check out a music video first, I think. Um, oh Kermit, yeah, Kermit's got something on deck for you. <laughs> so uh, whenever you're ready over there, Kermit, go ahead and slam that play button, and we'll get down for a minute. MC Kermit, here we go. Uh, it'd be DJ Kermit, but that that works too. DJ. <laughs> and I don't have the volume going. Oh no! Oh, that, that that might help. Yep. Hey, it's the pig. This is so good, Snow. Yeah, yeah, this this puppet's pretty good. It's a party. <laughs> Get down, but you fuck yourself. This yeah. is so good, Snow. <laughs> This is so good, Snow. Thanks, Kermit. Love this song. Tuck and roll. She sounds make black. That, yeah, make make that pig work it on the pole. <laughs> She's good. Sizzling some bacon. <laughs> Woo. Dirt nasty. <laughs> Good stuff, Kermit. I love it. It's so good. All right, you can go ahead. You go ahead and pause it now for a minute. Um, good news is nothing. Nothing weird popped up on my screen here. No, no blue weird screen things. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's. I don't good think. They, yeah, I don't think YouTube can shut me down for showing my own fucking video, right? You never know. They're the real yeah. Nazis. God, ain't that the fucking truth? Right on. But yeah, everybody, uh, check out Tuck and Roll. It, uh, just click in, uh, let's see, you can type Snow Dub Puppet Rap, and um, that should bring you right to it. And uh, yeah, check out the song, Tuck and Roll. 
you know, my trademark, uh, my trademark uh, words that I like to say at the end of every video. Get some! And, uh, get some! <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, Kermit. Appreciate oh, yeah. you and that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I All love right. your music. We should have kept listening to it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, maybe one of these nights we should do like, um, we'll do like a, a music video night where we go through a bunch of my music videos. That, that could be fun. Oh, yeah. I, I don't need, know. I, I need to get the good Coke for that night. Yeah, yeah, you better get the good shit. And um, I don't know. We should ask the chat if they want to do that sometime. Maybe on the next Ribbit and Bigot show, you guys want to watch all Jolly's music videos? <laughs> Some snow dub music. We got lots of funk. That's for Hell sure. Oh, yeah. Lots of funk. Tuck and roll, baby. So, um, anyway, um, should we do. Uh, you were talking about one of your Freddy, your your buddy's got uh, mini movies or something? About like seven minute movies. Really? Huh. Freddy well, Krueger. Um, Ask the chat if they want to see a Freddy Krueger or a Michael Myers film. Yeah, okay. Let's leave it up to the chat. So we got these mini movies um, on YouTube we're, we're thinking about showing and um, doing the commentary or whatever. So... Let us know uh, which one you want to see, a uh, mini movie of Freddy or a mini movie of uh, Michael Myers, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's leave it up. So we got we got two Freddies so far. Three Kruger Freddies. Kruger it is. Kruger. That, yeah, I think it's Kruger time. Yeah, but you know, let's say the, it's Kruger time. It's Kruger time. Yep. Okay, so there's six short films. Should I start with number one or my favorite one? Mm. Well, that's good. That's a good question. Um, let's let's just show the favorite one, and that way, if everybody likes it, they they can go check them out for themselves. Okay. So yeah, uh, Kermit's been talking about this uh, for a couple weeks now, and I guess this guy retweeted Kermit's uh, tweet about it. Yeah, and he he gave us the okay that we can go ahead and and critique him on the show. So uh, I'm kind of excited for this. We, we got the is, public permission. His name is Chris uh, R. No, to really, he must be a Dago. I don't know. I mean Italian. I mean Italian. But uh, he's uh, actually uh, one of the best like short film directors. Oh my god! Like this guy should totally direct the next Freddy Krueger film. But he uh, really? he makes Halloween films. He makes Escape from L.A. films. He makes like Johnny Mnemonic films. He makes Batman, Superman, uh, X Men. Uh, excellent stuff. But I I'm going to play something for you real quick. Okay, let's watch. Um, let's watch it. Check out this little uh, clip we got here. Um, a mini movie, uh, Freddy Krueger style. All right, Kermit. Uh, I'll let I'll let you take over the show here for a minute. Which episode is it? I forget which one the best one is, to be honest with you, but I'm just going to play one because they're all good. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Hit it up.
He does look like Hillary Clinton! Should I keep going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, maybe we should ask the chat real quick. How how are the sound levels, chat? Because I, I wasn't sure if it was too loud or does it sound okay? Yeah, um, we'll wait for the chat for a second. And um, but so far it's kind of interesting. Um, this isn't the best one, but I still like it. I mean, it gets good, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of violence in the other ones. And my favorite one is is uh it's an interview between Freddie and Nancy Thompson's father. Oh cool. Yeah. yeah uh, go, sorry, this, go ahead. This guy's a great Freddy Krueger. Yeah, I thought it was Robert England at first, you know, when I first seen him, and then I was like, Oh, okay, that's not him, but um so far so good, you know. I, I I'm impressed. He's definitely a better Freddy than you know the guy that was in that last movie. Oh yeah, that's the guy from the Bad News Bears. Yeah, he was in um... Jackie Earl Haley. Right. Yep. All uh, right, I can hit play, or we can just cut it there, dude. Whatever you want to do. Let's go ahead and finish it. I'm, I'm pretty sure the. Uh, okay, the here we go. Yeah. We're finishing go it. it. Oh, also snow. I that's Nancy Thompson. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go. Yes. There was an accident. She couldn't make it. Maybe you could help me find this little girl. I don't know. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, what's your name? I'm not supposed to say. My name is Freddy. Now that you know my name, I'm not a stranger anymore. Now am I? I don't know. If you could just tell me your name. It would really help. This little girl's mom is her really bad. I need to get her to the hospital. My name is Susie. You're Susie? Oh no. You have to come with me right now. Your mom's her real bad. She needs your help. My mom is her? Yeah. Come on. I'll take you to the hospital. I... Don't you care about your mommy? Come on. You have to go now.
Exactly, Stephen Walton! up man yeah i love it yeah yeah it's pretty good so Thanks. there's seven, uh, uh seven of those there's six of them and and this is probably i'd say the least good one you know they're they're, they're all good though i like this one huh yeah right. i saw that uh stephen walton liked the acting and Banula tv said ocasio cortez is the new freddy krueger yeah, that's that was pretty good. I I definitely am interested in watching more of those. So I'll definitely yeah. check them out. Yeah, the guy has Halloween films, everything, like every fan thing you could think of, he has, and it's so well done. I mean, like breathtaking. Some of them. That's awesome. Well, he should be making movies. He's better, probably better than some of the shit we're seeing nowadays. That's for oh sure. Oh my god! Yeah, like, and I I like I'm trying to push. Uh, with my limited Twitter following, get, uh, <laughs> them, this guy, and the director to make the next Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I'm down. Um, as long as they use Robert England. No, I like this guy. But yeah, I like Robert England too. But it'd be cool to hand out the torch to somebody who really, and you know, Robert England's getting old. So sure, it, sure. It, uh, uh, but I, I got way, it. I love I got that picture of you. Yeah, well, I was, I was gonna just going to say, Frog, um, even though he's getting old, I mean, the guy is still, like, really, you know, springy and jumpy, and he was laughing, and, and you know, like, when he got in that pose for the picture, he, like, jumped in position and shit, so it ain't like he acted like he was an old man. He, he wasn't decrepit. He wasn't, like, walking with a fucking cane or anything, um, so it makes me think, you know, he just ain't been offered the right amount of money. That's what it really comes down to. Put enough money in his fucking pocket and i think he could pull off you know at least a couple more years of it but you know no offense to this guy though i mean this guy's pretty good but if they could get the original back i'd say yeah it's hey but no joke you got to see one of the ones with this guy in the freddy makeup yeah okay well i'll definitely check it out i mean he, hey, lo hey. he looks the part one more thing too that i just like love about this whole series is that the last episode is the uh, new nightmare version. So the actor plays himself dealing with the Freddy Cougar who's himself, you know? Nice. Yeah, really cool. I like it. I'm sorry. I get a little talkative when I do cocaine. Oh, Jesus Christ, Kermit. Put the fucking straw down. It's hard. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get the chat for a minute. Um all right, so uh, Benulia is taking off. Uh, thanks for popping in, Benulia. No problem, man. I'm glad we could shout your channel out. And Bye, Benulia. Gonna... Yeah, I'll stop by and check out some videos, man. Um, so uh, MK Ultra says, Kermit, I think Stephen King is right beside you. Well, fuck him. It's mine, cocaine. <laughs> uh. Let's see. I liked him until he started bagging on Trump, that that free and liberal. And Sorry, I don't like to get too political. Oh, shut the fuck up, Kermit. I'm in the chat. Daddy Pad says uh, Kermit lo loves fucked up. Uh, what is it? I missed it. Oh, Kermit loves fucked up shit. That explains why he likes me. Yeah, you guys like each other? You and Daddy Pants, Kermit? I like him. Yeah, you guys A should lot. make out. You should make out, you fucking, you fucking queers. Don't get jealous, no. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> uh, we can have a frog sandwich. Oh, man, a snow sandwich? Oh, that's good. Yes. I like it. Cut. That's that's the true meaning. <laughs> that's, that's the true meaning of the cotton connection. 
Yeah. <laughs> Telling you, Daddy Pants, it's long, baby. Look at this thing. Long. Oh, no. It's real long. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, yeah. I'll touch your tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Kali Han says uh, he's got to go to work. All right, Kali Han. Well, thanks for popping by. Appreciate Bye, it. Bye, Kali. Have a good day at work. And author Stephen Alton says, uh, Kermit, does the water really make the frogs gay? There's no such thing as gay frogs. It's a government conspiracy. Right. No such thing as transgender frogs either, right, frog? There's only two genders. God damn it. Two. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> You're know. pushing my button, Snow. Sorry, sorry. It's just, I know where you live, Kermit, so you got to see it every day. Oh, no. Yeah, I live in the worst part of the pond. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I know, man. I, I'm, I'm from Seattle, so I, I feel your pain. I've, I've seen some bad stuff myself. I have to say, Snow, Seattle is the gay Diet Coke of San Francisco. Oh, for sure. For sure. It's a hostile takeover. No joke. I used to work at restaurants in the city for like 10 years. And we I worked in the tourist district. And people are allowed to walk around naked in front of the five-year-old kids eating and shit. It's so crazy. I just don't understand liberal thinking. It's so bizarre. I don't either. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure there is. And yeah, needles? Well, yeah, well, that's that's Washington, too. Uh, underneath all the uh, overpass bridges of the major highways, it's just nothing but tents. And then, like over, you know, just past the highway, you could see up in the hills a little bit where the the forest kind of gets thicker. You could see you could see tents just everywhere, tents and boxes and and garbage and you know, fuck, it, it's just everywhere, everywhere. It's insanity. Yeah, but and you know where all those places are is in liberal ass cities, big time. And then they just blame it on the white man. The fucking white man. It's all, everybody that. There's no straight white men running anything in the Bay Area. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, it's funny because um, like Portland and Seattle, they tell the cops to actually stand down and, and not like, uh, you know. Right. Per, yeah. They don't they don't make them, you know, clean up the bums shit or make bums move. They don't they don't stop them from doing drugs out in, in the public. No, they don't, stop, they don't stop them from doing shit, including beating up gay Asian reporters. Right? Yeah, that was in Portland. Bunch so, of bullshit. Yeah, it's a whole fucking West Coast, man. It's an infestation. The, the East up. Coast is the same thing. And to be honest with you, Snow, it's colleges and shit, dude. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Fucking colleges, man. They got. They got into, the, into our colleges and started spreading this fucking garbage around. It's up to us to make it right. America, get <laughs> some. Vote Trump. <laughs> I came Shut up with the Kermit the Log character at uh, SF State in a comedy writing class, and I had to share it with other comedians who were all lesbians, and they didn't find my humor funny. I'm glad I have found a family that likes my comedy. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, MK Ultra Portland's the perfect place to let loose. That's for sure. Go ahead and head there. Good luck with that. I fucking hated Portland. Last time I was there, hated it. There's just bums everywhere. Fucking every corner. It's disgusting. San Ugh. Francisco is exactly like that. Hey, yeah. in the chat, Stephen Walton wants to know Jesse Smollett or Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> I'd have to go with Jesse Smollett because if we had a prison term together, I could fuck Jesse Smollett. Yeah, I bet he's got a sweet ass. Did I cross the green line? Oh no, no, Jesse Smollett. Um, but he's free for all, man. That that that's a punch a bag waiting to get fucking beat. So yeah, <laughs> have at it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh, um. <laughs> They're saying uh, they should film The Little Mermaid in Seattle. 
That way uh, she can walk around naked. Well, I'm telling you what, <laughs> if you film her in Seattle, she probably definitely ain't had a fucking, even though she lives in the ocean, she probably ain't had a shower in a few weeks. The little Mermaid's <laughs> going to smell funny. Yeah. Smells like fish, tastes like black girl. Smells like fish, tastes like fish. <laughs> got, got some dreadlocks going on. Ain't had a shower in a while. Oh, no. Stop shaving her pits years ago. Yeah. yeah. She's going to have blue hair. That'd be great. She'll, she'll smell like patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> the nappy mermaid. The nappy mermaid coming to a theater near you. You know, fuck that movie. Um, both my sisters, <laughs> both my sisters are pissed. Both of them. I got yeah. two, two sisters, right? And they're both, you know, one's 31 and the other one's 28. Megs and um, you know that's from their generation as little girls, right? Oh, they're they're fucking just livid, you know. I I know they're white, but they're still women, right? And I thought women's opinions fucking mattered. Well, and yeah, they want know, their little mermaid. White men have been the one who's been losing all their fucking people because of of socialism, uh, pop culture stuff, you know? Like, we'll just redistribute the cool pop culture shit and not create anything new. Right. Yeah, it's sad. And, and now it's finally hitting the women. Well, what pisses me off about it is the fact that they went out of their way to cast every other fucking live-action princess, their exact gender, and their exact fucking... Uh, ethnicity, even even the last one in Aladdin, they found somebody that was Middle Eastern, right? So so why you gotta fuck with the redhead, man? You know, the redhead's iconic. She's the only fucking redhead in the entire princesses. Because Disney of. has ginger vitus. I, I guess. Fuck that. Is there any other gingers that are in um, Disney princesses? I don't think there is. Hey, tell me why Amber Heard didn't play Ariel. Tell me why anybody didn't fucking play her, man. This is bullshit. <laughs> right. This is some bullshit. You know, they did this shit on purpose. Anybody in any they could have I you telling me Disney couldn't find one fucking white chick that could sing. Don't tell you, you know, girls can dye their hair red. So that wasn't the problem. It's just it's just you had to make her black, didn't you, Disney? You had to make her black. And you did it on purpose. Just so you could call us fucking racist. For sure. We, and we, we get it. We think it's funny, actually. But here's here's what's really going to be funny. The fucking box office receipts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Snow. There's a whole generation of girls that are going to say, fuck this movie. So For good sure. luck with that. And they're good not going to take that. their little daughters to the movie. No. When both my sisters, you know, who, like I said, are the same generation, but have totally different tastes, you know, as far as like music and, and, and lifestyle. They're, they both said they won't go see this fucking movie. And that just tells me, like, there's a whole generation of girls, you know, in that 20 and 30 year old range that are just, you know, ixnay on the mermaid, you know, fuck that shit. Right. So, yeah, good luck, Disney. You ain't going to cash too many big checks on that one. I don't get why they just couldn't take Ariel to the hood and get, like, uh, a black, you know, she couldn't introduce herself to a black mermaid. They don't have Jamaican mermaids. Yeah, well, you know, here's the catch. Uh, she's got a bunch of sisters. You know, they could have made a, a, every sister a different fucking you know ethnicity for all I cared. But keep Ariel the same, man. Jesus. Christ. Exactly. But no, they got to be like what we really need here is less straight white people to make it diverse. No right. matter. Like, but when the fuck did these people not get in the money making business? Yeah, no shit. It's weird. It's funny because you know, did they make so much money now and they own so much now they just don't give a fuck anymore if they make money or not? They're just Whoa. gonna shove shove their fucking you know virtual you yeah know, virtual signaling yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Well, Disney has a fucking monopoly now. Fucking haters. Ugh. Can't wait to see what they do to my Aliens franchise. I'm sure they'll fuck that up real good. And Deadpool. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, man. Fucking Deadpool. What are they going to do to that? Butcher they're going to the cancel Deadpool is what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to shove Deadpool right up Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds' ass. Oh, man. It's it's not looking good. No. 
that's why we need independent creators to just make shit, you know? Like, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and, like, the way Disney and SJW filmmaking, uh, all that stuff is socialism of creative shit. And people making new stuff who, who like, the stuff we want is, like, the capitalism of film. Do you know what I mean? Oh, shit. I guess, you know. I mean, like, socialism as in Disney and all these SJWs, they just want to redistribute old ideas and make them, we want to give away everybody else's stuff and, and be like, we're going to turn Captain America black. Well, that reminds me of the other big news article this week that everybody's doing videos about, and that's Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. You know, um, I guess nobody's fucking showing up to Disneyland this week, and that place should be you know, just blowing the fuck up. Hell yeah. Um, I got an interesting fact for everybody you're going to love. Um, check this out, okay? And uh, author Stephen Walton, he's, he's still in the... Uh, Stefan, he's still in the uh, <laughs> chat here. Um, you're going to love this, Stefan. Check this out. This is a great little fact I found out. I was watching a video the other night. And um, this is my childhood. You know, I remember this. I went to Disneyland. Let's see, but... Uh, the guy back here bought me in 1989 and star tours, right? The ride. Wow. It just came out. Okay. So it was really new. And that fucking ride was amazing. And the line to that ride was around the corner. Okay. For sure. Now check, now check this out. That ride star tours, when it came out in 89 or whatever it was, was the hottest ride for 10 years straight as in the most ridden ride in Disneyland Park for 10 years. That's crazy. So why the fuck is Galaxy's Edge having low uh, turnout? I'll tell you why. Because they don't want to fucking cater to people who have been their fans for 40 years. They're turning everybody away in favor of social justice bullshit that don't, these fucking people don't pay any money. Right. And and they didn't fucking make a any kind of land that we could recognize. There ain't no Hoff, you know. We don't see no snow land and snow monster. We don't fucking you know uh, see Coruscant with some crazy you know fucking machine looking world. You know it's it's boring as fuck. It's a it's it's a Jakku or maybe a Tatooine type of it, uh, planet. So they picked the most boring fucking planets out of all of them, right? You know, put some Endor up in this shit, man. Hell you yeah. Know? Something, something cool, you know. This is why is the insane. Death Star not there? Right, something, something everything, you know, dude. It, they're just trying to push their new movies that they suck. Why don't they have a businessman saying, "Hey, let's cut our losses. This shit ain't making money." Fucking Rhea Johnson killed us. Let's let's go back to what makes money. Yeah, it's sad, and and uh, they got one more ride coming out, right? That they're working on right now. And supposedly it's not going to start working until like November or something. So it must have something to do with the new fucking movie. And if that's the case, that means the whole fucking park, you know, because the, there's only one ride right now. There's supposed to be two eventually. But th that would mean the whole fucking park has nothing to do with the uh, original movies. Nothing. That's crazy. That's insanity. Who Why would you buy that? The why would you spend that much many billions just to end the shit and forget about it? They fucked up Kermit because they may, uh, yeah, they that's the, what they happens when you have a bunch of bitches running shit. <laughs> they, well, they planned this shit out before uh force awaken came out. You know, they, they were planning building these, uh, lands thinking the movies were going to be great. And now that the land's all done and it's about to have the third movie, um, it's blowing up right in their fucking face, man. Nobody wants to go see this place. And now Disneyland tickets are dropping. I hear they're like uh, under a hundred bucks now. Well, that's like two grams of Coke. So I can't afford that. Shit. All right. Well, hey, Mary Mayhem's in the chat. And so is on star. Oh shit. Now it's a party. It's a party. Well, we're not we're not doing any karaoke right now, but we were doing some snow dub tuck and roll. <laughs> the author Stephen Walton says I'm his spirit animal. Yeah, 
the spirit animal do coke <laughs> good times well, glad everybody the spirit animal us. do cocaine in tag pig pigs yeah kermit's got some good shit tonight folks yep so i'm glad you all joined us in the chat here uh <laughs> Daddy Pants says, Disney let a little boy die without Spider-Man holding it down on his tombstone. Fuck Disney. Yeah, I've seen that story going around too. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to touch it, man. Because, um, you know, I, I, I totally agree with the, you know, how people feel about it. But I also can understand that, you know, corporations are assholes, man. And they hold on to their fucking, you know, trademarks pretty tight. So if I was that guy, I would have never said a fucking word about it and just did it anyway, you know? But hey, at least it brought some light to how fucked up Disney really is. For sure. Oh Yeah, I would have just done it too, Snow. Hashtag ham tits. Did somebody say ham tits? Stephen Walter put a hashtag on it. Oh, no. We're going to get ham tits treading, trending. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting hammered right now. Oh shit! Slow down, Kermit. We still yeah. got a good ten. We still got a good ten minutes of stream left. Swig a beer for the working frog. Nice. Line of coke for the working frog. Line of coke for the working frog. Yeah, snort him if you got him. <laughs> snort him if you got him. Speaking of, I gotta get my fucking. Well, oh, shit! Left my joints downstairs. God damn it! It's all right. It's all right. I'm still <laughs> still high enough. I can get through this. I guess. I just don't want to sober up too much, you know, and then, then I get cranky. Yeah. I turn into a, a fickle frog if I don't have my drugs. I hear you. Yep. Don't want to be around Jolly when he ain't got his fix. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mary says, no reason to keep that baby from having his spidey. I completely agree. It's like Emperor Palpatine is running Disney. Yeah, well, that's obvious. You know, there's some evil fuckers, man. I bet you if that kid was like transgender or gay or something, they would have been cool with it. They would have donated it if he was a trans whatever. I don't know. Right? Only two frog genders. Yeah, they would have Spider-Man and his fucking self fly in and, 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 and hook the tombstone up. They're like, oh, he's a transgender yeah. kid? Oh, well, yeah. you didn't say that. <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> yeah hey snow yo there's only two genders i know i counted them <laughs> i was looking it up in the dictionary the other day i was like okay what do we got here we got male and i looked a little bit further i was like okay and we got female and I, was looking Thank you. I was like i was like that's it that's all i could find it's that's, the that's, same that's in the that's frog it. it's the same in the frog uh biology yeah well, it's kind of interesting because that's that's the two genders you need to uh, what is it called? Um, procreate, you know, have offspring. It's pretty much the same in every fucking animal species on the entire planet. So um, yeah, I don't see too many transgender uh, moose walking around. I don't see any transgender bears. I think they're um, called geese. Yeah, although I haven't been in the Muppet Show in a while, they may have changed it up. They are Hollywood. For sure. You know, right. yeah. They might have some Muppet sanctions I don't know about now. You know, Big, Big, Big Bird is a little flaming. Big Bird might be a transgender. I'm not sure. Yeah. Big Bird's, uh, I, I, we're but, not quite sure. Yeah. He can go frog himself with his big I, ass. Yeah. I don't know what's underneath them feathers. I mean, I might have to gender check them. <laughs> gender check. <laughs> That's gender the new check. show. That's the new show. Yeah, we're trying to set up a new show called The Gender Check. Should be pretty good. Yeah, hashtag um, Lethal Lightning. Yeah, well, Lethal Lightning, uh, he was he's supposed to jump in on a stream with us tonight, but he decided to play Mortal Kombat instead. I see how it is, Lethal. <laughs> 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 so, um, right on. Oh, shit. We got Senate in the in the chat. Maybe we should show Oh, no. Out. Yeah. Maybe Don't do it, Snow. Don't read his chats. I won't. He's diabolical. Okay, He's an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, Senate. Go to bed. Don't make me come over there and spank you. He Protect might like me. it. I don't know. 
I'll come over there and spank you and your mom. Oh no! Is his mom related to sis? Doesn't matter when it comes to Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Yeah, you're like Bill Murray and Kingpin. Fuck yeah. <laughs> love that movie. Yeah. Just call I me love Big that e. movie too. You know what I just started watching tonight? I was like, God damn! They don't make any good jokes anymore because everybody has their pussy in a in a in a I can't think of a proper uh, adjective in a bind. What are you saying, Frog? Like uh, Ghostbusters 2016 and the Queef jokes weren't legendary. They were absolutely not legendary, but I also don't find women funny except oh. like five. Right. And they're all in TV shows. Yeah. There's absolutely not one good woman stand up ever. Okay, Mary Mayhem's I'm not gonna read what she said, but she's she's talking about getting spanked or something. So that definitely got my attention. But what she said before that, I can't say that. Can't say that. But the spanking part, that, that definitely got my attention. Well, I'm a fast frog and I pumped two toad loads just reading spanked by Mary Mayhem. That's nice. Yeah, well, Mary Mary missed the That's long. Nice. Oh, oh. Mary, Mary missed the long conversation oh. earlier. Oh. <laughs> we had a we had a long conversation earlier, Mary. Real long. Wow. Real, real long. That's exceptional. That's what she said. Not to me. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad everybody. That's here. what she also said. Oh, all right. Well, that's a nice frog. Um, how, how's that cocaine? Are you you got another line ready to go or what? Add a froggy. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh there's frog. nothing oh. worse than a cocaine over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen you had a bunch of red eye going on. How'd you clean up your eyeballs so quick? Did you get Visine? I, no, I took a shower. I like oh, to right take on. a shower after the first bump and then party on, frog. <laughs> right on. Um, Jonathan Eaton, Eaton asked, uh, will your other sister ever make a guest appearance? Um, she did, actually. She's on a couple of Game of Thrones reviews, and she was on this video called Snakes, Fakes, and Flakes. Um, she lives in Seattle. We're talking about setting up a show where she comes on once in a while. So I'll keep you posted. But yeah, Snow Sis. Yeah, she's pretty funny. So if you haven't seen any of the videos with her in it, there's a couple of them. I think Game of Thrones review episode. It was season eight episode. I want to say three and maybe four. She did a couple of them with us. Yeah. Mary. Did you see what Mary said? No. Okay, so for Hold what? On. Yeah, just say it? it. Go ahead. Yeah, you, read it. No, no, you read it, Kermit. I no, you read it. it. No, 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 you read it, Kermit. Okay, it says so. From <laughs> that, what I'll assume tonight, Kermit has been whooping out his green dick tonight. That's an absolutely Mary, but it's my green peen. My green peen, not my dick. And it's pretty small. Yeah. Um, if he whipped it out, we didn't see it. Whip is a bad adjective. More like it just came, it just like nuzzled out. Yeah, it's kind of like an Audi belly button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a tadpole dick. I have a tadpole dick. Definitely. That's good. Hashtag green peen. Hashtag green peen. Yeah. I'm glad everybody popped in tonight. Thanks for popping in, Han Star. Right hey, yeah, I thought you were describing my sex life, my sex actions as popping in. I just pop in. I pop in the pussy. And then you're out because you're and already done. Yeah, like a thief in the night. Yep. Oh, no, I know, man. Um, five minutes later, and she's already making my second sandwich. <laughs> I had to, I had to sneak that one in. <laughs> and she had time to go to the store to get better cheese. Wow, 
Yeah, um, mine goes to uh, Subway and then and then hangs out with the rookie critic and does a skit and then comes the, back. Yeah, the rookie is making the nookie sandwich for you, I guess. <laughs> uh, Mary says, I always assumed Kermit was a well-endowed for a frog considering he was attracted to a pig. It's more emotional and less physical. I'd say the pig barely feels me, but mentally she does. And I'm her co- plug so you know right yeah. she, def she definitely fills the back can with with the web it the web uh flipper right yeah a backflip yeah backflip so you keep you keep the back flip hand strong boom yeah <laughs> that's right i keep the backflip strong <laughs> Absolutely. Keep, make sure to keep that pig in the back seat yeah she knows when to speak she hasn't spoken yet that's right <laughs> yeah, no, I remember we went to the movies one time and fucking Kermit got so mad he put that pig three rows back. Yeah, she that pig was on restrictions. <laughs> no, I mean he put her back three rows, like she was sitting next to us, and then Kermit <laughs> did the backflip and pow, that bitch was fucking she was back there. Mm -hmm. Right on. But she loves it. Yeah, yeah, that's why she keeps coming back. Hell yeah. For sure. Yeah. She's good a little pig. crazy too. I like that in a woman. Yeah, she's a good pig. Yeah. Definitely. Right on. So um Honstar says it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. Well that um, that's a fucking lie, Honstar. Yeah, I don't know about the motion of the ocean, but I definitely get a lot of help from lotion. <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh Kermit can also mouth the alphabet on that pig poon. That was yeah. uh, MK Ultra. I could eat pork belly all day. Yeah, he's he's spitting the alphabet. That's awesome. Is that how it works? I don't I know. Thought, I always thought you just try to pretend to talk Chinese. You know, I don't know. I'm the big guy. I got the charm, charm, the man got the. I figure they like that. Yeah, I think so too. I haven't had any complaints. I've I've had them. I've had them tell me to switch up to like Cantonese. Yeah. Yeah. I call that the sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I call it. I call it the entree before I pull out the chopstick. Wow, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You want you want cream of some young guy? No. No? Oh. I'd like oh. the cream of some young pig. All right. I got a uh, I got cream of stale old puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. You know you yeah. you know you hit the ribbit and bigot show when we're we're making <laughs> making racist jokes about Chinese people. Hey, Lethal! Right. Oh, look who it is. Oh, you finally got off that Mortal Kombat, huh? You know, I'll tell you what, Lethal. You ever get a chance to play me in some Mortal Kombat 2, I'm going to whoop your ass. Yes, I am. Snow yep. Dove loves Johnny Cage. Gender yep. shaking people! Gender check! Gender check! <laughs> Gender check! <laughs> That's right. I actually like playing Scorpion, but I'm pretty good with all of them on MK2. I'll fuck you up. Mortal Kombat 2 and 1. Oh, no. That's right. That's right. I'm old school. For sure. So, um, yeah. So, Lethal must be done. Well, that's nice. Right on. Good to see you, Lethal. So, what's um, what's everybody doing tonight? You know, uh, it's a Saturday night. Got some cocaine here. Got some Definitely weed Definitely got cocaine. There. Yeah, got some, got some fat ones twisted up. Getting Getting twisted. So, uh, what's up, Kermit? Are you going to call the hose or what? Well, yes, but I'd like to do more cocaine first and drink more, and then hopefully they'll show up right when I'm at my peak. Kermit, last time that happened, you were fucked up and passed out before they even got there. I know. I know. That was a waste of money, and I don't want that to happen again, but, you know, I got to let yeah. loose. Gotta let loose. A frog's gotta let loose, and I only get loose through ho hookers and cocaine. Well, last time you ordered three hookers, and I had to entertain them all. And that's just a lot for Jolly. I'm getting old. <laughs> 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 it's 
So let's uh, let, let's slow it down a little. I'll let's try. Go, I think I'll, yeah, I'm gonna. You know, when we get done tonight, I'm gonna end up watching um, Deadwood the movie. Deadwood the movie. Yeah, that could be good. Have you seen Deadwood the show? Um, no, but I've heard about it. I've heard about it. I heard it's good. Yes, in the TV yeah. show, there's lots of titties. Nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, uh, rookie critics here. He's uh, he's he's talking some uh, dirt nasty rap. I like that guy. Yeah, dirt nasty is hilarious. Funny as fuck. Yeah, got Eddie, lot... he likes cocaine. Yeah, he does. He's got a lot of good songs. He mentions cocaine in a lot of them, too. <laughs> yeah, you have to check him out. And uh, Smooth, Smooth E, it's S-M-O-O. Yeah, S-M-O-O-V-E or V-E. Yeah, Smooth he's from the e. Bay Area. Yes, he is. Uh, him and uh, Dirt Nasty. Audrey Nicotina. Yeah, they did a whole album together. Yeah. yeah oh, good. yeah. If anybody likes cocaine raps, Google Andre Nicotina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got some good one, too. Except that he was Dre Dog. He was oh, Dre Dog. You know, yeah. I used to do so much cocaine. One time I pulled, like, a whole piece of chicken out of my nose. A whole? Yeah, it was like a wow. muscle. And it came out, and it was like a part of a drumstick of a chicken. That can't be good, Kermit. No. You, you might want to get that looked at. There was lots of blood. I bet. Yeah. Another time on cocaine, I bit <laughs> off the end of my tongue, and it grew back. Well, that's good. Yeah, well, I heard lizards could do that, but I wasn't sure about frogs. No, I'm actually talking about Burt Kurtzer, though. He really did do that. And it grew back. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Well, Bert, take it easy, buddy. Thanks, Charlie. Just, just in case you can't grow another one. All right. right. <laughs> That's words hey, of uh, advice to live by. Lethal Lightning says, I'll show you my music collection and you'll freak out. It's probably got a lot of, uh, what, opera and... Um, Probably Mexican music. <laughs> I don't and... think I don't think Lethal has Mexican music. No, he should. I mean, what's he, he like listening it. to? Santana. Santana. Um. Maybe some uh, Selena. Speaking of which, my dad went to high school with Santana in San Francisco. Oh, I want to show you too, Lethal. I want to show you the things I will show you. <laughs> 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 Good stuff. Glad you're here. Uh, yeah. You know, about. I asked, can I ask you a question, Snow? Uh, depends on the question, Frog. I asked it to Lethal earlier in a chat, and I thought this was a good question. If okay. you could turn any Marvel character into a transgender, which one would it be? Oh, uh, definitely be, um, what's his name? Um, Mr. Fantastic or whatever from the four. The, right. guy, that could, the guy that could stretch everything. Right. Can you imagine? Because whether, no. whether he, he'd be stretching his transgender titties or he'd be right. stretching his Whoa, little shit. Trans I was thinking if it was a woman being a Mrs. Fantastic, that would be hella scary with the giant, like, protruding penis from a woman. Yeah, well, that'd be funny too. But if it, it was a chick, you know, it'd be giant, you know, giant stretching titties. That'd be, that'd be fun to see, right? Some Sorry, I just had an evil smile on my face and I couldn't comprehend anything for a second. I just That's got okay. turned on. It happens. it happens. You know, I think I would pick Mystique. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because it'd be an easy transition. Well, she's always transitioning. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Senate wants the Hulk. I bet you do, Senate. I bet he does. Yeah, he wants to get Hulk busted. <laughs> he wants to get Hulk smashed. Yeah, Hulk smashed and Hulk busted. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. So, uh, Trans Fantastic. Yeah, I like it, Lethal. Yeah. Trans Fantastic Four. Definitely. The Trans, Fan the trans Fantastic Four is so funny. <laughs> we definitely got to see it. Yeah. Hey, Snow, so did you, did you, did you like that horror film I showed you earlier? You liked it, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my, it got my nipples hard. Yeah. Well, you and yeah. me, we got to do a review of all of them one time. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna watch a couple more, and um, I'll let you know what I think. But yeah, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, dude. Got to watch. He got three Halloween ones. This guy has a uh, Michael Myers versus Freddy versus Jason films. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, funny, funny little story here. Um, not too off topic, but when I was about uh, seven, eight years old, um, this is back. Uh, I think you know the first couple of Freddy movies were out, but uh, you know maybe not even Part Three was out yet. Um, I used to draw my own comic called Freddy versus Jason, and I would have them fighting it out on on a comic book. You know, I, I drew pages of them basically wow. kill, killing each other. Yeah, it's like I kind of foreseen what was going to happen. You know, years later. So that's just interesting fact. Yeah, that's still an got awesome it. fact. Yeah, I still, still got a few of them. Do you still have the art? Yeah, some of it. Yeah, Dude, not all of it. You should make a you should make a video showing us your art. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I did a little bit in the last. Um, uh, I did a video last week uh, about Disney, Star Wars, and stuff, and I show a little bit of my art yeah. at the end of yeah. that video. Yeah, I saw that was a great video. Yeah, I still got to show author Stefan. Uh, I got a uh, project idea for him and for for the book. So um, if he likes it, hopefully we're going to use it for the cover of uh, the Phantom yeah. Menace book. Yeah, that'd uh, be cool. Shout out to my homeboy in real life, Fozzle in the chat. What's up, Foz? Fozzy Bears in the house. Fozzy Bear, my Care Bear. What up, Foz? Delicious. Good to see you, buddy. Right Lethal on. Lightning's favorite rapper is Scarface. I like you, Lethal. Super West Coast. Yeah, that's dope. Um, I've gotten to meet most of my favorites. I got to meet Too Short, hang out with him and smoke. You've met everybody. Out. Yeah, I got to hang out with Devin the Dude, Corrupt, the Loonies, Drew Down. Hey, you um, know who my boy uh, Fossil has got to hang out with is uh, Freeway Ricky Ross, the real guy. Oh, nice. I got to open a show for Sugar Free and then hang out with him at the hotel afterwards. That was pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. Pimp, 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 puppet, shit ain't easy, is it, Snow? No, no. Um, I think you only let me kick it because I had really good weed. Exactly. <laughs> but it's cool. I didn't hey, mind so, me. I can't wait to smoke weed with you in real life, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh rest in peace, Bushwick Bill. Yeah, lethal. Oh, um, I gotta give a shout out to RBL Posse. Rest Hell yeah. Peace. Rest in peace, Mr. C. For sure. Bushwick Bill, that's super sad. Yeah. His Bay life Area. was short. His life was short. Bay Area came up with some sick ass raps, man. Hell yeah. Yep. <laughs> we gotta Drew do Down. some puppet Here's raps. Everything. Yeah, Drew Down, it's funny. Uh, Lethal, uh, Lethal Lightning mentioned Drew Down. He's really short. He's only like five foot five or some shit. Mm. So it was kind of funny. And um, yeah, he, he was kind of picked on a little bit by the rest of the rappers. They all kind of made fun of him. I don't know if it's because he was short or something. I don't know. People make fun oh. of me. I'm only four and a half inches. I could see that. Hard. <laughs> Cocaine is basically a press pass. <laughs> nice. Who said that? That's funny. MK Ultra. Oh. MK MK Ultra is on a fucking roll tonight. <laughs> <laughs> MK Ultra might have better shit than we do, Kermit. I don't know. I get the good shit. Me too. Yeah, I spent all my puppet money on it. I know. I, I actually got to go suck some dick tonight because I'm getting low. That makes sense. Yeah. So if anybody wants to you, throw me a tip, my uh, my PayPal is uh, pay, <laughs> paypal.me backslash snowdub. Um, it'll help out a lot. Um, <laughs> if, if you throw throw me some cash, then I don't yeah. have to suck up. Then I don't have to suck so much puppet dick. I so, can't so. wait to start a cocaine and co hooker PayPal. Yeah, we should get that going soon, Kermit. Because I know. Um, I know. You've been the last time you donated blood for it and you almost passed out. Yeah. That blood bank's a bitch. It really is. Especially when you do it three times a day. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about pumping toad loads. I only give blood twice a day. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's the other appointment we go to all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that yeah. one. 
Also, <laughs> figs have AIDS. Sorry. Fig? Yeah, figs. Like oh. Carlos Meza. I like fig newtons. No, figs like the homosexual. Oh no, 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 no. No, we don't we don't do that here. No. no yeah, that. 86 figs. Yeah. No. No. We're uh we're down with the portly uh the portly piggy and the and the titty here. So yeah, we don't we don't swing that way, but never cool if you do. Yeah, it's cool if they do, man. You know. I guess. Yep. Just because I suck dick doesn't mean I'm gay. Right. <laughs> it's only gay if you take it in the ass. Yeah, or if you cut your dick off. That's right. A puppet's got to eat. You can't That's trust right. any puppet that cuts their dick off. Yeah. And a puppet's got to eat after I eat a dick. And, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I hate it when I laugh at my own jokes, but that was good. I love it. I love your laugh nature jokes. Sorry. Uh, didn't mean to, didn't mean to <laughs> blow my own puppet load there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, my mouth yeah, hurts from laughing. Hashtag no teeth. That's right, Daddy Pants. No teeth. Who's the hashtag no teeth? That's all <laughs> funny. That's all funny. Why, <laughs> that's why I'm at high demand. Yep. Hashtag no teeth. My pager's blowing up right now, actually. I gotta I gotta go here pretty soon. But yeah. Ever had an a frog J? A frog J? What's that like? Um Well, if you don't know, you can't afford it. <laughs> oh, I guess not. I didn't know what it was. So I guess I can't afford Obviously. it. Obviously. Right. Huh. Must be a fetish. It is. It involves a long turn. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. I, I can't afford those kind of luxuries. <laughs> hey, Fazzo says, Nate Dog, I saw cream, cash rules, everything around me. Lethal Lightning says, Cash money, big timers. I love it. E40? E40? E40's in the bay. Yeah, that's some yay area there. That's at 40 water. Um, Nate Dog over Akon. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah, Nate, Nate Dog was a fucking legend. For sure, but I do love a I do like Akon. One yeah, time I got okay. arrested and then I got out, and my friends all played me the cause I got locked up, won't let me out song when I got to the apartment and everybody was happy for me with 40 ounces. It was fun. Wow. That's great. Did you go back to jail after that? Well, no, but I had to go to court. <laughs> you need to stay out of jail, Kermit. It's not a good well, place. You know, for sure. Right. <laughs> right on. Well, my buzz is wearing off. So I'm about ready to wrap it up here, I think. Another great I never anime. wrap it up. No? Oh, well, no wonder we got to go get you fucking checked all the time. <laughs> what did I tell you about that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, You know, I give the guy fucking condoms. He doesn't use them. <laughs> Frog condoms break easily, Stowe. I know. You prefer the filling. So I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I like to feel, I like to press up on the pork and feel myself, you know? For sure. Yeah. It's like a ham sandwich without the mayonnaise, you know? I get it. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, but yeah, let's do a quick shout out before we head out here. Um, you want to start us off, Kermit? Shout out Lethal Lightning. Yeah. Shout out to the, uh, to the kangaroo fucker. Uh, oh, shout out to Shellback. What's up, Shellback? Shellback! My boy yeah. Fazel, Sadiq. Yep, thanks for popping in, Fazel. We got, uh, we got Hanstar and, and Marvin Ventura Jr. just got here. What's up, Marvin? You're late. Hey, Marvin, sub to the frog. Definitely sub to the frog, Marvin. Um, who else we got here? Um, oh, wow. Shit, we had a lot of people pop in tonight. We had, uh, well, of course, Daddy Pants. Our Always main man Daddy Pants. Also, me and Daddy Pants got the same birthday. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you guys should definitely make out over that. We're going to try. You fucking queers. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. 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 My buzz is wearing off. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting cranky. Um, yeah, much love to uh, Fazil, uh, Lethal Lightning. We had Mary pop in for a while. And, of course, the Senate and his punk ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <MJ> Ultra, 
MK Ultra was here. Rookie critic. Shout out, uh, Megs. Megs. Yeah, your sister. Wait, is she her? No, oh, but sorry. just you know, oh, she's part yeah, of this yeah. team, anyways. Yeah, we miss her. Um, hopefully, she'll be back soon. I know she's ready to come back. So it's just a matter of you know, probably a few days now, for sure. <laughs> Kermit's got a needle dick pokes through condoms. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah. Good point, Double penetration. <laughs> right on. All right, Frog. Well, you got anything else you want to say tonight? Or it was a pretty good Rabbit Bigot show, eh? I think it was great. Yeah, I think it went pretty good. We don't want to go too long or else people won't come back and watch it later because it's too fucking long. For nobody sure. Watch, you know, nobody wants to watch a puppet for more than like an hour. It gets old. Absolutely, Snow. Uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Remember... We're all just a frog trying to eat some pork. That's right. And uh, make sure you slap that like button on the way out. We appreciate it. And tell your friends, you know, um, Ribbit and Bigot show will be back soon. We might start doing uh, We might start doing this every other night or so. What do you think? I think we need to start coming after them, Snow. Yeah, I think so. I think it's time to take back the time slot, if you know what I'm saying, frog. Hell to the yeah. Fuck yeah. Get some. Get some. <laughs> gender, <Don't> check. Trump. <laughs> gender check gender check gender check <laughs> Trump. yeah good stuff oh, it's so fun it's so fun all right so <laughs> all right guys yeah just shy of 600 subs almost there so uh click click like uh click click subscribe and, sh and tell your friends and i think kermit already dipped out so later kermit <laughs> shit tuck and roll kermit Shit, man, he didn't even hang around. Say fucking tuck and roll. The hell's wrong with this guy? Oh, I know what. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. He's he's got a fresh line of cocaine, so he had it cut out a little early. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, everybody. Appreciate you tuning in to Ribbit Bigot Show. And um stay tuned for Lethal Lightning and the Puppets and uh the Red Gaze community. We're gonna be doing a show called the Gender Check coming soon. As soon as Lethal uh Figures out a good time for us to all get together. Him and his kangaroo time. So, right on, everybody. Have a great night. And uh, tuck and roll. <laughs>